In this tutorial, I'm going to show you explain console space pixels. Console space pixel isn't like the actual term for it. I don't know what they're called. Um, the reason I call them console space pixels because they're not an actual pixel in your computer. They're just a pixel that takes up one space in the console. So see where my cursor is and how every character takes exactly one uh, one little box. We can actually put a little cursor there. So what we're going to do is first we want to position the cursor somewhere. Move A802, move X2, move Y2, and 10. So you're going to move it at 2, 2, which is here 0, 1, 2. Um, and I think 2 is right here. Um, then 0, 1, 2. So that's going, it's going to like make a pixel right there. That's where it's going to move our cursor to. Then we're going to say move A809. This is the one we use to, you know, clear the screen and everything. But we're only going to make CX1. We're only going to say write our character one time. Make our character a space. 20 is the hex for a space. Then move BL. BL is our color. So what color do you want the pixel to be? We can say like maybe color one zero, color one seven. So um, I think I'm going to use color one seven. So let's clear the screen. So make the color one seven. Now in ten and twenty. Oops, now we want to write debug test.asm CLS. Now test. As you can see, it wrote a little pixel right there and it's blue. And it wrote it at the coordinates. Remember, 0, 0 is the very beginning. So here's 3, 3. And if you want to look more on colors, you could, let's make, maybe you can draw a red one with it. So we can just copy all this code. And see this one's the Y, so if we change this to three, that's gonna write the cursor or that's gonna move the cursor right below it. And then our color is going to be three is three is aqua. Let's use three. So three seven. Now debug our code. CLS. Now we write test. As you can see, it's going to write a blue pixel, then a um, aqua pixel right below it. And let's maybe write kind of right here where this D is. Let's make a red pixel. Or yeah, let's go with a red one. So to get up here, um, that's minus one, minus or that's minus two on the Y and plus one on the X. So let's go here. Change this to a 3 and change this to a 1, and that will make the cursor right here where the D is. Now, let's make which color is red? Red is 4. So let's say 4, 7. Now let's debug it again. Test. Now, Um, let's let's move so it doesn't erase it. Let's move the cursor like pretty low. H zero two mod D H um five mod D L zero and ten. This line just moving the cursor below our pixel so it doesn't erase them. So you can see them. Now a test. See it wrote. We just made wrote three pixels, one here, one here, and one here. Now that's how you make a console space pixel, which is what I call them. I'm not sure what they're really called. Some people just call them console pixels. Um, but see, they take up one little box in the console. You can make little drawings with that, or maybe I've seen in this language called Yeah Basic a full like game made with little console space pixels. Really cool, but um. 
that's just how you draw a pixel in the console. Um, we're ma what we're basically doing is setting the background color to something, let's say red, and then we're just drawing a space. Um, and so this making the background color only in one little space, that color. Um, so that's console space pixels.